Hello viewers, in this video we are going to talk about inspirational quotations because quotations are very important for the motivation of the people and they inspire the people. So you should learn the quotations and you should learn a lot of things from these quotations. So let's get started. The first one is a state that does not educate and train women is like a man who only trains his right arm so you see that in this quotation the importance has been given to the education of female the education of female is very important and mandatory because uh, uh, according to this quotation that if we just uh, uh, we ignore the education of women and we just educate the men so it will be like uh, the case that we just uh, educate uh, and train our we just train our right arm and we just uh, leave behind the another one the left one so it is the case like that so it shows that the education of women is very essential because um, it plays a pivotal role in the life of every person so that's why it shows that uh, we should educate our women and we should not deprive them of their basic right. Another one is one of the marks of excellent people is that they never compare themselves with others. They only compare themselves with themselves and with their past accomplishments and future potential. It means that the excellent people just uh, they do not compare themselves with others. They just compare themselves with themselves and they move on and they learn from their uh, experiences of the past and uh, which uh, help uh, them in the future. So that is about the excellent people, the intelligent people, they compare themselves with themselves and they move on. They learn from uh, their past accomplishments and uh, those accomplishments help them in the future. To succeed, we must we must first believe that we can. It is about belief that if we want to be successful, so first of all we have to believe that we can do it. So then we will be able to achieve our target. If we just do something and if we don't believe in ourselves, so then it is not possible to uh, succeed and achieve your target which you want to achieve. So for achieving uh, something you must uh, first believe that you can do it so then you will be able to do it and you will get whatever you want in your life. Life is divided into three, three terms that which was, which is and which will be. Let us learn from the past to profit the present and from the present to live better in the future. So in this quotation, in this quotation, you see that life has been divided into three sections. One is the past, one is the present, and one is the future. So in this quotation, it is said that we should learn from our past experiences, and uh, that will help us in the present. And we should also learn from the present moment, so it will help us in our future. So this quotation has been said by William Wordsworth who was a well-known poet of English and he has written many works which are very famous. So he mentions that life has three phases, past, present and future. So we should focus on the present, uh, past and future so then we will get success in our life. The new year is like a blank page. The pen is in your hand. You can write uh, what you want, but write the right thing. It means that in our life we have the choice that whatever we want, we can do that. We have the page and we have the pen. Whatever we want, we can do it. So we should do the right thing because then we will be asked about our deeds and actions so it is mandatory to do the right thing and move on in your life so if you have the choice so you should use their choice in a proper and uh, good way because it leads to the 
success and achievement in your life. Loneliness and the feeling of being unwanted is the most terrible poverty. It has been said by Mother Teresa. She says that whenever you are alone and when you feel that nobody loves you, so it is the most terrible condition and it is the most terrible poverty. If people do not uh, love you and you are alone, so it is the most terrible poverty in your life. You will be thinking that uh, my life means nothing and it is just uh, useless and it has no purpose when you are not loved and when you are alone in your life. Saying nothing sometimes says the most. It has been said by Emily Dickinson who was an introvert poet. She says that uh, whenever uh, you are silent so it conveys a lot of meaning and a lot of messages because silence speaks. When you are silent so your silence is the transformer of uh, messages. It transfers a lot of messages to others so that's why she has said it in this context.